trip or ukay video, I want to show you all the items that I think will be trendy or items that I think are still trendy as we move along into the year. All the items that I got are ranging from 20 pesos to 70 pesos lang. Majority of them are 50 pesos. Okay, magsimula muna tayo sa mga tops kasi I think plus konti siya compared to the bottoms. Now, I want to show you this really funky piece that I got. It's this one, very retro print. Ayan siya, parang siya mga circle in different colors. When I saw this one, sobrang na-inlove ako agad kasi it really gives that vintage vibes. Yung buttons din ito guys is what drew me into it. It's very oddly shaped. Hindi ko siya madalas makita sa mga long sleeves. Therefore, I think na talagang luma siya or matagal na tong piece. It's a statement piece on its own, so you don't really have to do much about it. So, it's mo lang siya, just tie the end into a knot, and you're good to go. Susunod naman is I think nag trend siya towards the end of last year, and I believe it's still going to continue until this year. And what I'm talking about are these like cardigans that you wear as a shirt. So, ito naman yung nakuha ko. It's not your typical cardigan na one color. Tapos buton na siya all the way or button down yung style. But this one is a floral cardigan. As you can see, it's in a really girly yellow color. I plan to wear this on top of a tank top, of course. Pero for my hubadera friends, I'm sure you can wear this with just a bandeau or parang nice bralette inside. I can't wait to post an OOTD with this one. So make sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. Next piece naman is this green parang, um, how do you call this? Parang lace na mesh top. Ayan siya, meron siya ditong ruffle cleaning. And then dito, yung only way for you to close it is through this parang ribbons. Green is really trendy these days. Itong parang avocado green na ganyan. Nakuha ko lang to for 35 pesos and I love it so much. Next top that I got, you might think na parang ang ugly niya. But for some reason, I liked it so I picked it up anyway. Ito siya, para siyang uniform ng t-shirt na ganyan. Ayan. It's just a nice button down piece. I also plan to wear this as a layering piece, pero you can definitely wear it on its own. So, that is that. Last three tops na lang tayo, and these are tongue tops. They were selling it for 3 for 100 so kumuha ko ng tatlo. First tongue top that I got is this yellow and black tongue. Sobrang simple lang ng silhouette, and very simple lang din yung piece, pero because of the yellow trimming, makes it a lot cooler than it actually is. And I love that for me. Now, next naman na tongue is also black. Pero it has this parang silk na straps. So, meron siya dito mga floral detailing. It's a very understated piece. That's why I liked it. And the last tongue top that I got is also black. This one is a ribbed black tongue top naman. Then, it has this lettuce detailing dito sa my neck. Pero meron din dito sa may dulo. So, it's not at all very basic. That's why I also picked it up and I can wear this with a lot of my clothing na existing sa wardrobe ko. Now, we are going sa mga bottoms naman. And I'm really happy na yung pag-ukay or pag-thrift really puts me in a spot where I can explore outside of my comfort zone style-wise. I'll be starting with a piece that is the cheapest. I got this one for 20 pesos lang. It's this midi floral skirt. It's very feminine. I've already posted this one on my Instagram. Midi skirts are really not my thing. Pero when I wore this, I actually started liking it. So, I want to explore more on midi skirts and how I can style them. Now, I'm going to be showing you some of the funky pants that I got. Let me start with this moss green corduroy pants. It's a straight leg pants. Corduroy is one of the very trendy things. So that's why I picked this one up. Yung length niya is just perfect for my height. I already have a lot of outfit ideas that I see na pwede dito sa pants na to. The fact that I got this one for 50 pesos is just amazing. Next piece is also a corduroy pants but this one is a lot funkier than the last one. As you can see, it's in this really nice red 
color. It has this parent stud details dito. Pero it's not overdoing it. Only thing that I don't like about this one is hindi siya ganun ka high waist as I would prefer. Pero maganda pa rin yung fit niya sa akin. And it's not also too uh, low of a rise na hindi ko na siya bent. Kasi baka alam nyo na kapag umupo ka, makikita yung mga hindi mo dapat ipakita. I see myself wearing this with black boots or parang platform na shoes. Yeah, this is the red pants and I love it. Last few pieces in this haul are denim jeans and the first one that I'll show you is something that I've already posted on Instagram. I'll show you a picture of me wearing it and it's this black denim jeans. It has this invisible na zipper. Meron siya parang very Burberry-ish na lining inside. Yung dulo niya, you can wear this as this parang black straight leg jeans lang. Pero you can pull that up to this length and magiging ganyan yung dulo niya. Ayan, ganito yung nasa Instagram ko. So, gusto, gusto ko rin siya. I also like the length of it. Hindi siya ganun kahaba for someone who is a short girl like me. And I'm really happy I took it home with me kasi it's one of my favorite pieces dito sa haul. And the last pair of denim jeans that I will be showing you is this dark blue wash straight leg jeans. Medyo mahaba siya ng kotti sa akin. So, the way I styled it, I folded it up to this length para hindi siya ganun nagda-drag on sa floor. I'm just very happy that I got this one for a really good price. That pretty much does it for my trendy 2020 haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed thrifting. So make sure to stick around, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram at mycity underscore. Comment of the week is here and I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye! One, two, three! Fuck it!